Hello lovelies and welcome, welcome, welcome to today's tutorial and it's such a such a special time of the year. We are in the month Adar and it is such a festive and such a happy time and I can't wait to show you the look I've come up with for this wonderful and joyous month. We're also in Pisces which has a lot of purples and blues um, so I'm definitely excited about including a few fun colors in this really really fun bright look that we're going to do today but it's going to be very wearable it's going to be very um, work appropriate even or well, depending where you work but for me definitely because that's where I'll be going later so we're going to have a lot of fun but we're going to keep it fairly tame I hope um, and just to start off with I want to tell you a little bit about the month Adar. So Adar is unique amongst all other times in that the festival of Purim happens in Adar and it is such a wonderful auspicious joyous time that the whole month is converted to joy it is in fact a good deed it is a fantastic opportunity with no excuses to be happy during this time of year it is a very interesting story a very deep story with many messages both on a spiritual level but also on a moral level this is the first real point in history where we see that there is going to be a complete annihilation and it doesn't happen. Um, it's kind of like the first Holocaust in a sense, in a sense, um, because there's always going to be someone trying to do something wrong. And thankfully we have here the example, the perfect example of a hero or a heroine in this case, who saves the day, not just for the people and not just for the time, but for all of history and all of time to come. So let's celebrate the wonderful Esther Hamalka, the queen of the story. Um, we've got a beautiful royal tichel here. Um, if you want to see how I did this tichel, I'll link a tutorial um, in the cards of how I did a completely purple version of this. Um, and yeah, let's get into the fun times with makeup. <laughs> because I expect for this look to be quite bright, I'm going to start with a beautiful neutral base. I'm going to use a very fluffy brush to apply it. I'm going to try and use as much of my two natural palettes as I can um, just to keep the toxic level to a minimum. Um, so we're going to dip into this beautiful neutral shade here, Meditation, and we're going to apply very, very generously to the lids, but also kind of spreading it out and blending it out as well. So here we go. So that's what I meant. It's really kind of spreading around a really large area. It's on the top of the lid, it's in the crease and it's over the brow bone, but it's very, very blended out. That's why I use a very fluffy brush because you can definitely cover a larger surface area very easily that way but also you get a bit more color dispersion with a fluffy brush. By the way my beauties if you are interested in this palette it is currently 30% off with the code retrograde um, or you can always get it with 20% off with my affiliate code and I'll pop that up on the top too that's alias. So if you were keen to try it this is a really great opportunity because it's 30% off so very very good special. With another even fluffier brush this one's got a bit of an angle and I really love using it for the corner colors because of that angle it's really easy just to get in there see. I'm going to go in with a beautiful deep color just this one up here just a little bit on the brush and we're going to blend down into the crease from the brow. Look at that color intensity, isn't it gorgeous? Um, if you did for whatever reason want to blend it out more, I don't want to too much, so I'll just show you guys just so for the example. You can use the fluffy brush with the base color that you had and just very lightly go over the edges and it will just feather them out if you wanted them to. Okay, once you're happy with that beautiful outer corner color, which I am absolutely happy with, and it's called Crown Chakra, which is just completely perfect for an Esther Hamalka or a Purim kind of fun look. So I've got beautiful deep colors. It's a really nice base and they're still kind of neutral-esque, just enough to make these colors very, very wearable, but still bright and fun and definitely make a statement. All right, we need a flat brush next. This one's my favorite one. It's very dense, but very soft. And I just love how it retains color so nicely and, and really, really packs it on if you need it to. Um, I'm going to start with some setting spray, or in my case, it'll be the Savvy Minerals Misting Spray. I like to spray it into the lid because that way you can get lots of dips out of one spray. So just try not to be wasteful. And very, very lightly wet the brush so it's not too wet at all. And we're going to dip into the Savvy Minerals Winter or Royal Winter, ooh, <laughs> Royal Winter palette. Also very appropriate. I'm going to use the color Grace, just that one there. How pretty it is. And I've wet the brush because when I was doing the review of this palette, I found that it was a lot happier to stick to the skin off the brush with a little bit of encouragement from the misting spray. So we're just going to go in with this one 
just in the middle of the eye. So you're probably thinking I'm going a little bit out of order because I haven't done the out of corner completely. I've only just done the sort of out of crease, but that is coming, I promise. Um, I just really wanted to put that light color down first so that we can really use the brighter colors to blend its edges. Whereas if we put the bright color on top, it would be more like a halo eye where it's sort of just sitting right on top. I want it to be a lot more diffuse and blended for today's look. Alrighty. So I'm going to use a couple of these um, little crease brushes or little blending brushes because um, they're very convenient. I find them so good because they're tiny. Look at that. It's next to my nail there. Just tinsy tiny. Um, so one will be for the inner part of the eye, which I'm going to use this insanely beautiful cool purple. This one here. Look how gorgeous that is. It's kind of got bluey, pinky, goodness knows what um, tones. I'm actually kind of tempted to use my finger. Let's try with our finger first. So we're going to use this to just kind of dab and pull in the inner corner. Wow, that worked really well. I think I do want to build up the intensity though a little bit. So I'm going to use this brush after all, and I'm just going to get a little bit of color and just dab, 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 and then swirl to blend. Look at that shimmer. Oh, this color is, if it's not royal, I don't know what it is. It's just divine really beautiful so shimmery so magnifique I don't speak French but apparently I do and um, we're going to do the same thing on the other eye and just taking a moment to appreciate what I meant about the blending it doesn't take away from the white color it just kind of transitions a lot nicer this way okay so I've saved the best part for last well not completely last but um for the last bit of the top lid anyway um so I did the same thing with the inner corner just with my finger first and then finished it with a a, just a packing on and a bit of a blending of the purple beautiful color the beautiful color third eye so very appropriate for inner corner color right next to the third eye <laughs> i'm going to use the color pisces which is this gorgeous color that just this yummy charcoal-esque uh, aubergine kind of color that definitely still screams purple but in a very deep smoky moody way i'm only going to use a tiny little bit on the very tip of this brush um, and I'm just going to use it to fill in the bit between, sort of just that out of V kind of area. So just looking here. See how that just really works to deepen and drag the eye out? So pretty. It's also got a very kind of subtle sparkle to it. Nothing too crazy, nothing like the third eye color. Um, but it's definitely a Pisces look. It goes so well with this dark purple silk scarf, which you know royalty 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 it's definitely a thing today most of all i'm just loving the way that that transition is going it goes from that beautiful soft sandy color into the deep warm kind of uh, burgundy-ish or brick kind of purple color of the crown chakra which is so appropriate and then we've got the deep beautiful warm juicy aubergines of the outer third really deepening it up really creating that beautiful transition or transition and uh wow <laughs> Those colors just really enhance each other. And I love this white beam from underneath, from within, that you get on the center of the eye. So not a true halo, but definitely that same brightening effect. So I promised a little bit more insane brightness, and it's coming. I'm going to try and add a gorgeous pop of blue <laughs> into this look. I know it seems crazy. You can definitely stick to something a little bit more tame, like a bit of a purple color or a you know, a purple pencil or an amethyst or just a smoky gray finish. In fact, a charcoal would look just perfect on that bottom lash line, but I'm going to go for blue because it is a dar, it is fun, and fun is what we're going to have. <laughs> so we've got my little Nutramedic sharpener here and my Koopa pencil. I'm not a real big fan of pencils you have to sharpen. I much prefer the turn up ones, but this is such a nice quality um, pencil. This is an Italian company and they're made in Germany, so we're going to go in and use it on the wet line. So this is where spraying into the lid really, really helps. I'm just taking a really thin, tiny little detail brush and I've dipped it into the Savvy Minerals Misting Spray, just dabbing off any excess of the fluid. And I'm going to go in to Jewel, which is a almost duochrome color that goes between this beautiful charcoal and this shiny, foily, gorgeous teal color. Now it looks beautiful on the finger, but we learned again last time, just being repetitive here, that with this palette, 
unless you're using your finger you need a little bit of moisture to transfer onto the lid but then the colors just scream after that so beautiful I do love a beautiful teal so we're going to use this really really fine brush here you can see it's very very thin and we're going to just smoke out or kind of shade it's like a bit like shading with a pencil um, from the actual lid portion underneath the lashes I'm going to go with something I said earlier about a charcoal pencil. I just think that this look will be much more complete if there's a little thin kind of finish of the top lashes. If you're wearing a fake lash, then that will give you that effect as well. Um, but I'm going to do it with a pencil and mascara. So this is just the Nutramedics in charcoal. And I'm just going to hold the lid to just expose. Alright, so that's the mascara and liner on. It really does make the look so much more effective and ah, just nice. Okay, I'm going to use the colour Rose in the lip treatment by Nutramedics. So this is basically apricot oil and a little bit of colour. It's a beautiful moisturising lipstick. And I love the colour this gives. It's just a soft pink. So kind of a neutral lip but more of a soft look and then I'm going to top it over with my nourishing lip oil so lots and lots of nourishment for the lips today that color just looks so lovely against all the purples and, and blues in the eyes it's not a crazy hot pink or anything like that where it distracts from it it's just a nice neutral finish very natural definitely loving all of my benefits from having this gorgeous multitasker by savvy minerals so i've got it in my cheeks already doing a bit of contour um, and all that kind of fun stuff i'm just going to finish everything off the brows and all that kind of thing and then come back seriously my new best friend this multitasker I love how natural those dark brows are normally i'm too scared to go for such a dark brow because it just looks so drawn on and this is just so beautifully natural it just works with the hairs and the fibers because it is a natural product it's just bark which is a fantastic fantastic thing okay so that is the complete look and I'm so happy about it look how fun it is and bright but like I promise it's very wearable and very regal um, and very sort of smoky and deep at the same time so you can really dress it up or dress it down <laughs> um, but I had a lot of fun doing this look and I hope you had a lot of fun watching it and I hope you have a lot of joy and a lot of celebration this month because it's all about happiness but real happiness not just being silly and and merry which is important too it's always fun to release but to really enjoy and appreciate all the really wonderful things that we have and just basic freedoms to me that's just the most wonderful thing because only a few generations ago those type of wonderful things that we take for granted just didn't exist for people and we have it today and we just need to remember and be thankful every day that we have so much goodness in the world and remember to offset all that negativity if you haven't subscribed please do it'll really help me out to have the numbers growing i love it it's so inspiring to have more and more people come along and watch please spread the word let your friends know if you think that this is something that would be interested in um, and it'll be really lovely to have the family grow this channel is now one year old um, so i'm really looking forward to expanding and and building and growing and all those wonderful things jump over to instagram and have a look at more looks and more fun uh, things that are going on in everyday life over there leave me a comment down below right at the bottom or over on social media um, to say hello or to to communicate i love hearing from you guys wherever you are around the world i hope you're having the most amazing day and looking forward to having a wonderful month i really hope to see you on the next one thank you bye